What's up, Block Fam? Welcome to today's episode, starting here in the Blockhead Garage. If you guys are looking to get any service on your motorcycles, blockheadgarage.com. In today's episode, we are going to be comparing two motorcycles again. We made an episode like this previously where we compared the Yamaha MT-09 and the Sportster S. We uh, heard a lot of y'all's feelings apparently in that episode. Uh, I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> in today's episode, we're comparing two bikes ergonomically a little more similar, obviously, than those two. So we've got the MT-09 SP, this is a 2021 and we have a 2022 Indian motorcycle FTR 1200. Joining me in this comparison video, we've got Eric Baggerbro. You guys know I'm at Baggerbro. Traditionally rides something with bags, but in today's episode, he's riding more of like a naked upright. I got my book bag in the truck. Oh, book bag? Throw your book bag on so you'll still be Baggerbro. You'll be book bagger, bro. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, in terms of comparison, we're gonna go ahead and display on the screen right here over these two bikes, engine size. So we've got an 890cc versus a 1200cc. Three cylinder inline versus a V-twin. Prices between the two. Significant price difference, especially in terms of the model. So the MT-09 SP is your top tier model versus, <laughs> yeah, the uh, the FTR is a little bit more costly. It does come with a lot of goodies too. The Olean's front end, the Brembo brakes, the Olean's single monoshock, Acropovic exhaust. Now this model is outfitted with Rizoma mirrors. Uh, we also have touchscreen, full color. Fancy. Beautiful. You can switch gauges and all that stuff, change modes. This one, bit of a smaller screen, but also full color, not touchscreen though. Fuel tank capacity will display right on the screen. After this episode, we are gonna do a dyno battle against them as well, just to see what we'll be able to show you guys like how the power delivery is on both of them. Additional comparisons, uh, you do have mono shocks on both. You do have inverted shocks in the front on both. Dual disc also on both. However, this one on the front has Olean's inverted and Brembo dual disc brakes. Mm -hmm. Brembo in the back as well. And Olean's here as the mono shock. This one you have KYB adjustable front and inverted shocks, also dual disc, but not Brembo. The brakes on this thing, I will tell you right off the bat, are a little lacking, but I've heard if you change out the pads, it actually upgrades them quite a bit. You do have a single on the back. Another big difference between the two is this one does have a quick shifter and an auto blipper, so you don't need to pull clutch in if you're under heavy load to shift up. And then if you're between certain RPMs, you can also auto blip down and it will basically automatically rev match for you without having to pull the clutch lever in. Unfortunately, the FTR does not have that, but the power just delivery is much different on this thing. Now, a lot of you guys might be saying that the FTR is gonna win versus the MT-09 because of displacement. A lot of y'all got really upset in that last episode, the fact that like we compared a bike with a larger displacement, but it was a Harley, so it shocked a lot of you guys. I think that's why a lot of y'all's feelings got hurt. This is more of like a head-to-head -head comparison in terms of like the overall feel of the bike. So we are gonna go ahead and get on the road and we will basically talk about the overall feel of the bike, ergonomics and all that stuff, and then just how the power delivery feels. We do have ride modes on both of them. So this one has four ride modes, one being the strongest, two being the next step up, then three, and then four is more like a rain mode. And then for this one, we do have sport mode, road mode, and rain mode. We can put them in sport mode and then TCS off, which will allow them to basically pull up wheelies. I'm not a huge fan of that because if you pull up a wheelie, you tend to let off throttle so they don't loop out so you, it slows you down actually so if you do have rider assistance it allows you to full throttle be able to keep on it the entire time my opinion i'm not a wheelie boy though so i'm gonna ride this one first because i want to get your thoughts and impressions on it eric has some experience with the mt09 he has very little experience with the ftr so i'm gonna ride this first because i want to get your first thoughts and reactions on camera at the spot in mexico let's get to the ride portion Oh yeah, real quick, I almost forgot before we leave this garage. Two things I forgot to mention. Number one, we're giving away this motorcycle over here. If you guys want to get a chance to win it, head over to blockheadmoto.com. Sign up, select the tier, and you're in. Beautiful old school style chopper, sucker punch Sally, custom paint job, custom front end from TC Bros. Just absolutely beautiful bike. So we're giving that away in about two months. Also, the second thing I forgot to mention, this episode brought to you in Hello. part by Senna. So we're going to be using our Senna's to communicate. I'm going to go ahead and turn on mesh mode, connect up with Eric. Make sure you guess how fast this thing is. Mesh intercom on, open mesh channel. Bam, when that's it, super quick. Yeah, it was crazy. Like right when it, it was like firmware updated. Nice. Because you know how the, the 50S comes with that. Yeah, automatic update right. cable. I love that, dude. Hell yeah. I never, I never have to do it. If you guys are interested in the Senna, how we talk to each other, link down in the description below. <gasps> be right back. 
All right, guys, we are here at the bike switch spot. So I've been on the Indian up to here. So Eric's gonna go ahead and get on the Indian FTR 1200. I'm gonna get on the MT-09. Just so you guys can see, we have the FTR 1200 in sport mode currently. We also have the MT-09 in drive mode one, which is the most aggressive mode. Also TCS mode is in M, which is the lowest mode before it turns off. We're gonna be doing like just some rolling pulls. If you have TCS mode off entirely, the front wheel lifts up. When the front wheel lifts up, you let off throttle so that the front wheel comes back down. With the rider assistance, the front lift mitigation or the wheelie control as manufacturers call them different names, it actually allows you to like 100% throttle and actually keep the wheels on the ground and like deliver that power. For those of you that might be naysayers or whatever, like I said, we're gonna have a dyno battle after this, which is really gonna show the difference in power. This is just for like an on the road test between these two motorcycles. Let's go ahead, throw a leg over them and we'll go. So the first thing I'm noticing, like the same thing I noticed whenever I got onto this bike after the Sports Duress, is this bike is so much more lightweight, dude. And it's the same with the FTR. So the FTR, weight difference between the two of them. Center gravity is noticeable as well. So the fact that they're both naked uprights, or this is like a, a flat tracker. <laughs> A lot of torque on that thing. Yeah. The ergonomics on them are incredibly comfortable. So how how tall are you? Six two? Uh, I'm uh, six one six, and a half. Six one and a half. Very comfortable seating position. I mean, they call them naked uprights because there's no fairings on them. So they're naked. You're sitting upright. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm definitely noticing I just got off the MT-09. The engine on this is definitely more buzzy. Yeah. Where, as where the MT-09, that, that triple is nice and smooth. True. You know, I don't mind the, the vibrations. It feels nice. You know, I feel like I'm on a lazy boy, kind of. Good, it feels good. Yeah, man. It feels a little heavy when I lean. Yeah, it's just the bike. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Okay. It's noticeable. So, like, whenever we get up here to the gas station and we switch over, okay. like, you'll, you'll see, like, throwing a leg over this one, it's noticeably different. Sounds good. Yeah, Indian did a good job on this bike. I really, uh, I like this bike a lot. I'm not an Indian fan, but uh, this bike right here, A+. Plus. Dude, I'm, I'm a big fan of the FTR. Yeah, dude. This is a badass bike. And then I think they got rid of that weird 18-inch front and back uh, flat tracker thing. Right. I mean, it's cool, but you have to, your, your tire choices were super limited. I like what they've done. Yeah, the fact that they, they like, made it a more common tire size is beneficial for the consumer. Definitely. Yeah, they, they listen to the customers. It's okay, bike life problems behind a trash truck. Yep. <laughs> you ever get trash juice on your block? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I mean if I'm you ride motorcycles, it's just one of those givens. I think I'm just right behind you right now. <laughs> so perk of the FTR over the MT09, auto canceling blinkers. So I think I forgot to mention in the beginning of the episode, the FTR is actually on loan to us from Indian Motorcycle. So big thanks to Indian Motorcycle for that. The MT-09 SP here, I purchased this motorcycle, what, a year ago or so? Yeah, about that, yep. Got about almost 3,000 miles on it, loving it. It's due for some maintenance here soon. One of the reasons that I bought this motorcycle is the value Purple. of it, the bang for your buck. The amount that you get in this thing is just ridiculous. I mean, you've got the full color display, you've got cruise control on it you've got a quick shifter an auto blipper you know the amount of power that it delivers it's just overall like a really really great motorcycle and whenever yeah. i was considering buying this one i actually went on a press event for the new ftr with indian out in i want to say arizona and it yeah. really got me thinking of buying the ftr instead now the reason that i ended up buying the mt09 is because of the value because of the price difference and then also because of the quick shifter and auto blipper. Dude, you can't you can't beat it. One per dollar, Yamaha is gonna get it every time. Dude, whether it's really... a MT07, MT09, heck, the MT10. Yeah. 150 horse to the crank for twelve thousand right. bucks, thirteen thousand. Right here. And you get cruise control. Yeah, man. I like, mean, Yamaha definitely like kills it with the pricing, the amount that you get for what you're spending is just yeah. what'd you say oh, fun, yeah. fun per dollar yeah fun per dollar dude like low maintenance you go buy a ducati monster good luck yeah good luck when you get to that service if you don't got that your penny, penny saved <laughs> you're gonna be hurting i mean you change the oil on that thing you just go that's you know? the thing with like the level of like yamaha honda 
Kawasaki, like all like very consumer grade, consumer friendly in terms of maintenance and everything. Whereas like the FTR is going to be there as well. Harley Davidson's also in that like same segment, but whenever you get into like Ducati and like a little bit more like, bikes. specialized Aprilia, would you say spaghetti bikes? <laughs> Italian? Yeah, spaghetti. Yeah, <laughs> spaghetti bikes. Yeah, it's like having to do an oil change on a Ferrari. If you have to ask how much it is, you probably shouldn't own it. Yeah, afford it. <laughs> see, the thing is like the Ducatis and all that, those are designed for people who don't really ride that much. I, that's, that's just my mindset. Or you got a lot of money. One of the two. Yeah, they're gonna upset a lot of people with that. A lot of those, uh... uh they know where to find me. It's all right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. They're good, great bikes, you know. Shoot. We, we got a buddy, uh, Javi, with the Aprilia, the Toronto. Yeah. That's a that's a badass bike. Would I get one? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> so, something cool about the FTR that they've lent us, though, is they're actually sending us a bunch of parts to customize and build it out. So, See it? Yeah, we're gonna be customizing it with lots of, uh, Roland Sands parts. Nice. Is that a cop, though? Yes, it is a cop. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad he's going that way. Right. crazy how just like immediately quick that bike is because it has stock exhaust you don't really like hear it too much and it's just like yeah. gone she's got some get up and go dude i had a white knuckle that to like stay on the bars <laughs> nope. i'm a little top heavy so you gotta really hold on <laughs> same so in the last video one of the things that the comment section was mentioning in that comparison video was lean angle so basically the handling between mt09 versus sports dress uh, the handling between an ftr 1200 and an mt09 is going to be similar but not quite the same i feel like the mt09 is still a little bit more flickable handles those curves a little better if you're worried about lean angle on these bikes <laughs> You're on another level, I yeah, think. Exactly. You should be uh, <laughs> on the Moto GP bikes. Yeah. Go real quick if you want. Yeah. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, uh, you started catching me there. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that was nice. You, you were you were coming up. I was full throttle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was nice. That was nice. I would have kept going this curve though, man. Uh, it's good, uh, good handling test right here though. That's where that uh, auto blipper comes in handy. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is gonna be a good race. I'm looking forward to this. That was just a little taste right there, fellas yep. and ladies. FTR. This is a hooligan bike for shizzle though. I like this. Yeah, it's got a little wobble in it, dude. I think the tires got some low tire pressure for sure. With my big ass on this bike. <laughs> it gave me a little jingle jingle. Jingle jingle. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure. All right, three, two, one. MT09 definitely keeps up a lot more than I thought it would, especially for the displacement. So yeah. keep in mind, the Sportster S pulled on this thing like super hard with a displacement of 1250. The FTR is a displacement of 1200. It's a lower displacement. All Give right. a little bit of head start too. Ready? Three, two, one, go. similar we were pretty much keeping pace with one another actually okay so since i was a little bit ahead of you that was pretty much even then a little bit or, yeah that's good that we do it that way because we can't see what's happening on my end yeah so that's cool but yeah the pacing was like pretty much spot on there that was nice it was a good run all right so let's turn back down this road at the gas station and then we'll swap okay dude honestly i'm like incredibly surprised at the mt09 with that being a right. 1200 and this being the 890 that's i didn't just... expect it to keep up like it is all i'm right. sure we could probably like if we were to start from like a, a stop it might be a little different in terms of like the power delivery but like from a rolling start it's well, much more manageable for wheelies for one there's a lot more factors that come into play though if we do from the stop like my skill versus your skill launching right i mean i think the roll is like the easiest comparison all right switching bikes eric's gonna be on the mt09 and i will be on the ftr oh man Just, dude initial thoughts when you throw your leg and lift that thing up Okay, that feels like I'm sitting on a two by four straight up. This has a little more cushion to it. This is nice. Yeah. See, I could I could spend more time behind behind these bars. Yeah, a little more cushion, and then the weight difference, man. The weight difference is crazy. She hits different, bro. Yeah, man, it's such a different like power delivery to the right. Where are you going? No, no, no. Where, bro? Where are you going? 
This, oh, this way to the right. Uh, I, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I just like riding, bro. So right. Harley Davidson. Harley Harley Davidson. People at bike Herd rallies bird, feel bird, like. Davidson. The difference in handling on him is crazy. Like this, this, this turns in a lot better. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. Second gear, forty. Yep. All right, ready. Three, two, one, go. Give me a, give me a, give me a fifty. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so surprised at like how Whee! evenly matched they are, man. That's impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> are y'all happy now, huh? You happy now? Man, we're not holding it back. Nobody's throwing anything. Nobody's pulling punches. So for those of you not that are all. gonna like try to criticize, yeah. your feelings are gonna be hurt. They're they're incredibly evenly matched. Like I'm, that I didn't expect right that. There. I expected this one to be like you know killing the MT09, honestly. Okay. When I was on the throttle, it felt like the front was floating. That quick shifter helps a lot. Dude, so much. Wow. Like with this one, I'm having to keep my eye on the RPMs like a lot more and then like factor in pulling in the clutch and shifting. Right, if, right. if you were able to just like bip, 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 yeah. such an advantage. And she's stock, boys. Yeah, that's the thing. Totally stock. I mean, obviously engine wise, do have like fender eliminator and some crash protection and stuff on there. And then yeah. like the little fronts, wind deflector. But this one also totally stock from Indian motorcycle. So stock versus stock, heads up. Dude, uh -huh. you know what this means though? In our last comparison where we did the comparison between the MT-09 and the Sportster S, the Sportster S pretty much killed the MT-09. Since these are really even, the Sportster S is probably gonna kill the FTR. My prediction. I, I think we need to put the two together, bro. Yeah, we will. I think, I think that's what needs to happen. Incoming episode. Hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed already to see that one coming up. Click. Oh yeah, hit the bell also while you're over there. <laughs> Bing bong. Bro, this freaking FTR is scrappy as f though. <laughs> Dude, uh, it tickles the boys a little bit. This one feels like way more visceral and like scrappy. Like you said, it's a, it's a little more raw yeah, where that one's like feels... more refined. This is definitely refined. All right guys, so we're making our way back to the shop. I wanted to do one more pull, but unfortunately like just with the distance and the timeline that we're on, I don't think we're gonna get to. We're hitting a little bit of traffic. I guess it's that lunch break time of day. But yeah. overall, I would say power wise, uh, in terms of like the rolling pulls that we did, they're, they're pretty evenly matched. I was actually incredibly surprised, but we will continue back at the blockhead garage and give you guys our final closing thoughts on the comparison here all right guys so that is the ride comparing the two i'm incredibly surprised that the mt09 kept up with the ftr i expected the ftr just because it's a v-twin larger displacement to really smoke the mt09 but the mt09 did great i think the quick shifter is definitely like a perk of it eric what are your thoughts one per dollar mt09 all day yeah F flickability like you can toss this bike around you can throw it around it feels like you pick it up and throw it on a truck bed For this real. bike um, it's more refined ftr just feels like straight up it feels like if this was a harley <laughs> it just it, the vibrations like, yeah it just feels you feel the bike more visceral. that's for sure yeah um yeah visceral is the word that i use too it's like it just feels like you're more oh uh, yeah yeah oh brawn and steel but there there was one instance when you and i raced where like i was actually creeping on you but then we had to let off and we were in the same lane i don't know i think i think they're just so evenly matched any little mistake on the rider for yeah. each bike will, will will make it different but to be honest like the mt09 wins just because of the price i mean you get brembo's and then olin's up front the TFT is better, and then you get the Acro exhaust on here. There's definitely the perks of the FTR. There's also perks to the MT-09. Obviously, if you're a little bit more on a budget, you're looking to save some money, but to kind of have the same feel and quality, like the MT-09 is probably gonna win you over. The Indian, like we are saying, feels a little bit more visceral. It is a bit more expensive, but if you're trying to decide between these two motorcycles, because I was trying to decide between these two motorcycles as well at one point in time, and I ended up going with the MT-09 SP, Wes over there actually also also ended up purchasing an MT-09 SP. He traded in a 650 and like he had his eye on this thing just because everything that you get in this package is just awesome. Now, 
That's not to discount and say that the Indian is not amazing bike. I'm a real, real big fan of the FTR 1200. We're really looking forward to like getting some modifications on here, opening it up a bit, but just the dollar amount, you can maybe find them used for a little bit cheaper, which might make it a little more competitive, but the amount of quality components that you get in this, like the engine feels super solid. Suspension is great. The brakes are awesome. The power delivery is super linear. And like I said, after this episode, we're actually gonna film a video where we put both of these bikes on our Dynojet over here and we're gonna run them and then we're gonna show you guys the Dynograph of the power delivery of both of them overlaid on top of one another. I'm really excited to see what that looks like because I'm thinking that they'll be pretty close just based on how we felt it on the road there. They're both good bikes. I can't say anything negative about them besides the low end on this guy. I like them. I'd take either one of them. Yeah, they're both awesome. No. I'm, I'm a big fan of both. So it's, it's up to you guys if y'all are in this camp of comparing the two. My biggest recommendation would be to go try to ride both of them. So go to Indian Demo Day, go to a Yamaha Demo Day, throw your leg over both and, you know, formulate your own thoughts and opinions on them. Now, this isn't a pop-out because every comparison video you see online, oh, you know, they're both pretty good. Honestly, they're both comparable as far as, like, ripping from you know from a certain speed and getting it there they're right there it just depends how you feel on the bike yeah and your wallet and they both do have a different feel to them so it is one of those things like we're saying this one feels a little bit more refined not quite as visceral a little bit more finely tuned this one feels a little bit more raw you know rugged they're both still incredibly scrappy but it just depends on which you like more and uh that's entirely up to to how you feel when you ride it so like i said doing the dino runs the dino battle video against these two and then we're also going to be doing a lot of modifications that Indian Motorcycle is sending us for the FTR 1200 here. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see some of that. Hit the bell icon also while you're over there so it sends you notifications of our future uploads and activity. If you guys did enjoy this video, if it was insightful at all, do us a favor, hit the like button. It lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job. Big thanks to Eric for being a part of the video. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for riding motorcycles with me. I feel like that's not something that you really have to thank friends for, but thank you for riding a motorcycle. You guys be sure to go give Eric a follow at Bagger Bro and uh, commend him on his awesome weight loss journey. Look at this guy, man. Man, he's slimming down. You're disappearing, bro. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> down to a B cup, he says. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.